now return to Mind Your Own Business on DZRJ, 810 AM, the voice of the Philippines. Here are your hosts, Nicole Jacinto and Nikki DeVega. Hello. Yes, we're still here. Don't worry. <laughs> Just mind I, your own business. I was playing around. I want to delay it. Let's see if they notice. Hello. Anyway, right. we have a caller in the line. Brother Francis okay, wants to participate. Okay, let's put him on. Hello. Good morning. A blessed day and new, new year. Happy yes, New Year, happy Brother new year. Francis. You have such a beautiful... Um, it's like your voice is dancing. And very joyful, yeah, no? joyful oh. voice. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. Thank God. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so, Nicole. Yes. Nice to hear you again. Thank you, Brother Francis. I thought for a while you were out the country no, no, for the I, holiday. No, mm-hmm. I was here the whole time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> may I give an advice? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, maybe perhaps you can have, you can have consultation with uh, Dr. Johnny Midnight. Oh, oh me? Yes. Uh, Johnny Midnight. Yes, yes, he's here at, uh, at yeah. midnight. I, I did. <laughs> I, I, my mother consulted with him. Mm-hmm. I consulted him before. No, so uh, and uh, it uh, has reduced the uh, medical expenses. Okay. Mm-hmm. That w- yes, I. I mean, it, I. I will. I'll stay here late one night mm-hmm. again no. and talk to Johnny with the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather he comes to you. <laughs> anyway, uh, Aniki, mm-hmm. mm, it's nice. To, well, you seem as active as ever, so oh, alive, so energetic. Mm-hmm. By the way, Nicole, yes. may I ask something again? I've been reserving. I mean, I've been having this in back of my mm-hmm. uh, mind. Uh, are you, are you related to Gabby Jacinto, the, the son of Pilar? Yes, he's my uncle. Do you know him? Your uncle, Gabby, is your uncle? Well, I have an uncle named Gabby, so I guess that's the same guy. Oh. Unless, maraming Gabby. And unless he's younger than <laughs> I am, or uh, I have an uncle named Gabby, so I don't know if we're talking about the same person. Oh, he graduated from De La Salle, uh, 1974. Mm, maybe I think that's the one. I, he's handsome and he wears glasses. Mm, yeah, and he plays he plays the guitar yes, as well. Yes, yes. So that's him. Yes. Oh, okay, it's my classmate before. Ah, okay, mm. okay. So, what's your advice for us today on getting business permits, brother Francis? No, no, it's a New Year's resolution. Ah, New Year's resolution. Okay. okay. Uh, mm-hmm. With business, well, I'm through with business because I'm uh, a senior citizen soon. You sound oh, younger. You don't sound like a... Yeah, you sound like you're in your early 40s. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. It's about the New Year's resolution. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, uh, I had this... Uh, uh, I'd like to share this because the, it's a, not really a problem, but it's something which, uh, uh, well, disrupts the New Year's resolution. Mm-hmm. And it's the New Year's Day. Mm-hmm. Because the New Year's Day is the first day. That's right. And it's a rest day. Yes. And we wake up late. What if your New Year's resolution is uh, waking up early? Yeah, no, that's true. And then the night before, a lot of people are drunk. Yes, hangover, bothered <laughs> by the mug. My resolution is I won't drink this year. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Did you did the uh, the smog this year bother you very much? It really bothered me, Nikki, and and brother Francis. The it, this year seemed more polluted than you know than uh, last year and the years before that mm-hmm. on and New Year's Day. Yes, the smog. You're bothered by smog the first mm-hmm. day of the year. You have to clean the kitchen of utensils, mm-hmm. the dining uh, table of uh, leftovers, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. the garden of, uh, yeah. of fireworks debris. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what, is, what a way to start the year. So what happens to your New Year's resolution? You just uh, forget about it. Mm-hmm. You just forget about it, and then you pick it up on the second or the third. Maybe the third already because uh, the second you're still tired from, from mm, uh, yes, uh, the yes, first. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what is your New Year's resolution, Brother Francis? No, I don't make any ru- oh, you New don't. Year's okay. resolution because of that program by, I don't know, from one of the RJ program about, you don't have to. I think one, see, G and Marge. Ah, yes, mm, yes, You don't yes. have to make a New Year's resolution. You just have to, you know, everything's okay and think positive, etc. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a very good program. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I listen to it every Saturday evening. Saturdays from 7 to 9. I listen to it too. Oh. And I get so relaxed. Yes, yes. It's actually it's a good time to listen to the program mm-hmm. because it's uh, about uh, a, it's a buffet and mm-hmm. something mystical mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and everybody's relaxed and something. Not, it's, it's it's just the right time to listen to those kinds of programs. Yes, uh, Nicole mm-hmm. and uh, and um, 
Nikki, I don't want to stay long. Thank you very much. Happy thank you, brother again. Francis. Thank nice you. Nice to know you're okay. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. You know, I didn't know that he was, thir- uh, you know. Uh, I thought Brother Francis I thought he was like young, in his like 30 40s. or something. You thought he was 30? Yeah, because he has a very young voice. But I think, you know, because he has a positive outlook in mm-hmm. life. And Me, I thought dates. he was in his early 40s because he's been giving some advice that I feel like it's. it's it's too wise to be attributed to someone who's younger. Who's young, so, I mean, okay, we have Lita Ramos on the line. Hey, my favorite. Let's put her on. Hello, good morning. Hello, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Lita. Happy New good Year. Morning, Happy New um, Year. How are you? Um, attorney to be Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really very happy, Nicole. I, I called because I wanted to to convey to you my happiness that you are up and about already. Thank you, Lita. Uh, for a while, I'm really worried about you. Yeah. I said to Francine, I think you are overworked. Mm. And I thought also like Fr- Brother Francis. Hello, Brother Francis. <laughs> uh, I thought for a while that you were abroad. I uh, no, no, now, no. Uh, maybe it was a blessing in disguise that you were in the hospital so you, in the hospital so you could rest. Yeah, sometimes I, I think, think of it that way. You know? I, may, uh, I suggest a new year's resolution for you. Yes, go Nicole. ahead. Uh, to give more time to yourself, will you? Yes, I will. To rest more. Uh, anyway. Thank you, Lita. I'm, not, uh, I'm unlike uh, uh, Brother Her- Hernan Watas. Happy New Year to you, Brother Hernan. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a coward. I'm, a, I'm unlike him. You're unlike him. him? Especially now when you become a parent. Mm-hmm. You become a coward. I mean, you... Always pray for your children. Well, you take fewer Thank risks, you. no? Lita, mm-hmm. when you're a parent. You don't go out mm-hmm. in the streets anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, all, I, all I do now is to listen intently to the radio, especially with uh, RJ. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Sometimes, Lita. Uh, I say to myself, uh, 12 midnight, BBC. Mm-hmm. I, I said to myself, why do I worry so much about the world? <laughs> I'm so affected, especially when I hear mm-hmm. children being, uh, yeah. I mean, like I- I children in Ethiop- Ethiopia mm-hmm. being given in marriage so early. That means po that you are human, you're compassionate. And-